Welcome, my name is Marcel from FTX Simplified, the channel which will simplify everything from the FTX crypto exchange. Today I want to discuss the stop loss buy orders and there are three types of stop loss buy orders, the stop market, the stop limit and the trailing stop and you could use the timestamps in the description. Last time I discussed the market and limit buy order with the virtual stock or crypto XYZ all buy orders are in blue, sell are in orange. The actions are listed here. And today we will discuss the stop loss orders. And I will add the stop loss market order. And as you can see, I added two actions. The trigger entry with instant fill and just a, a normal trigger. And the stop market order is a, 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 a trigger entry. So you enter a trigger level and then you will enter at market price and then you will buy at the ask price. And if you want to know more about ask and bid price and the spread, there is a link in the description. For the stop market order, the trigger order has to be above the current price. And if you want to set an order below the current price, you could use the limit buy or you could use the take profit buy, which I will discuss in a future video and the link is in the description. And then I will show how you can enter uh, a stop loss market order on the FTX platform. We're back on the FTX platform in the sub account testing. And in the order screen, you could select the uh, stop market order. And then it asks for a trigger price. The current price is around 63. So let's make it 16, 65. We have to fill in an amount. Let's say one FTT. The retry I will discuss in a different video, link is in the description. And then you can press buy, yes place order. And if you then see under your trigger orders, you see that there is a trigger order, $65. If you can scroll up, you also see that there is a trigger order is displayed in the graph. But we would like to execute the order, so we're going to change the amount to let's say 62.9 yes and then we have to wait till the market goes up to 62.9 and voila the order is executed if I'm not mistaken yes so we now have one FTT. So now we did the stop loss market order and then we'll move on to the stop loss limit order. And as you can see, now the trigger level is disconnected from the entry level. So with the stop loss limit order, you can set the price uh, which is different than the trigger. And you could set the price above or you could also set the price below. And you wanna do this mainly because of three reasons. The first reason is that you're in control of the entry level and this is especially true for stocks because they're not open 24 7. So if the stocks opens at Monday morning with the gap upwards with the stop loss market order, you will buy at the open. And with the stop loss limit, you can give yourself uh, a ceiling for which price you want to buy. And the second reason could be is that you can set the price lower than your trigger. So maybe you put a trigger around 15 and you put your uh, uh, limit order here. Or you could even set your uh, trigger here. So let's say it's $11. You first want to see a recovery before you buy at 12. So a lot of possibilities in uh, executing the stop loss limit order. And the third reason is that you can hide your orders from the order book. As long as your order is not triggered your entry order will not show up in the order book. And this is also true for the take profits order, which I will cover in a future video and the link is in the description. So now we can move on to the FTX platform and enter a stop loss limit order. Well, at first you have to select the stop loss limit order. And as you can see, you have to set three values to trigger the limit and the amount. And the trigger is in the dotted gray box. And let's say we want to trigger at 65. In the limit, I want to set it below, let's say 63. And it's in the purple box because it's the entry level. 
and the amount is in the black box and we will put it at 1 and if we then press buy yes we want to buy you could see that we have a trigger order and it says it's want to trigger at $65 with a limit buy price of 63 and I want this order to be triggered so let's modify the trigger price and let's move it to 63.67 click OK and then wait till the order is triggered and there we go and now you can see we have one open order at 1 FTT for the price of 63 so now the order is triggered and then the limit buy order is sent to the crypto exchange the last stop order I want to discuss is the trailing stop and this is different than the other two stop orders and it's because the stop is following the price action and I made some more price action to illustrate that and let's say when the price uh, is ten dollars you uh, enter the order and you say if the price goes up three dollars I want to buy but the price only goes up two dollars and then it goes down some more and you make the statement if it goes up three dollars you want to buy so if the price goes down more your trigger entry will also go down and in this case then the price goes up more than three dollars and you're triggered in and for the trailing stop the trigger entry level has to be above the current price it's the same as for the stop market and the stop limit order and I think it's also good to note that those three order types it can also be used to close your short position just as the coming two order types here to take profit uh, and if you don't know what short trading is uh, I made a video about it and the link is in the description so we can move on to the FTX platform and see how you could enter a trailing stop order at first you have to select the trailing stop order and after you've selected that you have to add a trail value and an amount and if I look at the graph and let's say I want to buy when it goes up three dollars so then under the trail value you fill in three dollars one FTT will be good and you can see that the current bid and ask is around 7035 and then plus three is around 73.35 so that makes sense if you then press buy, yes I want to buy and then the order shows up under the trigger orders and I just observe a different order and I can tell you that uh, the trail value is 3 the market price is 70.39 and if this price will go down so let's go, it goes down to 69 this price will also go down I personally never used trailing stop order because you don't know for which price you're gonna buy and I always trade with a stop loss so for me it would be impossible to calculate your risk reward ratio but I must say I do use the stop market and the stop limit a lot if you learned something from this video please leave a like and if you want to know more about FTX Simplified you could consider subscribing hope to see you next time bye bye